Hey, it's Erin, and it is leg day. But this is not your traditional leg day. Today we're using only one piece of equipment, and that's a kettlebell. And the focus today is mostly on the glutes. We're using the kettlebell just because I think it's good to have these options for if you're traveling, if you train from home, or if you're just looking to mix things up and break through plateaus, it's a great option. We're working quite a bit with angles and body weight distribution. So we're not only using the kettlebell as resistance, we're also going to use it as a lever to really accentuate that glute activation. So I'll give you some cues that you can use in your workouts to help grow those glutes. Without further ado, let's get into the workout. The first exercise we're going to do is a kettlebell swing. Now with the kettlebell swing, make sure you're hinging at the hips Weight should be through the heels and almost think about doing a good morning with this. So you're pushing with just your posterior chain. So hamstrings, glutes, a little bit of lower back and only using your upper body to guide the kettlebell. So there should be no shoulder activation whatsoever. There's no front raise. If it helps, you can place a kettlebell in between your feet and that will keep you from doing the squat kettlebell swing. So this is almost entirely glute activation. Four sets of 10 with about 45 seconds to a minute in between each set. Our first strength exercise is a goblet squat. So you're going to pick up the kettlebell, make sure your elbows are underneath the weight. This is gonna help you brace against it, but you will be using quite a bit of upper body here to stabilize and hold the kettlebell in place. My feet are about one and a half times shoulder width. Weight through the heels, toes straight, knees straight. And with this, when you're squatting, you're, you're pushing your weight through the heels again and really think about keeping those knees behind the toes and thinking about engaging your glutes on the way up. You can sit back a little bit further because you're holding that weight in front of you and you're not compressing the spine. So there should be no back pain, should be no knee pain with this exercise, which is amazing. Four sets of 10 to 12 here with about a minute in between each one. The next exercise, and see I'm grabbing the kettlebell with an overhand grip. We're doing RDLs, but a little bit different. This is focusing on that, you know it does not exist, with the glute ham tie-in. So here, knees are slightly bent, pushing the weight through the heels. Almost think about rounding your upper body a little bit forward, and then touching that kettlebell behind your heels. And this angle really hits those lower glutes, it really activates them, but you have to stay hyper-focused because there's a tendency to allow the kettlebell to come closer and closer to your toes, which will not activate the glutes as well. So really think about reaching almost behind you and then pulling up, engaging those glutes on the way up, keeping your back nice and flat. Four sets of 10 here, and it's okay to keep that head down and round that upper back just a little bit and try to keep constant tension. So you notice I don't lock out at the top, I'm trying to keep tension on the glutes. Next exercise is a sumo deadlift. So here, feet are about twice shoulder width. Toes out, knees follow the direction of the toes. Now, this is pretty awesome here, using the kettlebell both as resistance and as a counterbalance. So you're gonna hit a lot of delts here because you're going to hold the kettlebell in front of you. And by holding that kettlebell in front of you, you're able to sit back just a little bit more. And by taking that wide stance with your feet a little bit, with your toes pointed out slightly, you're going to hit medial glutes and abductors. So this kind of gives you that shelf appearance of the glutes. Really stay focused here. Keep that upper body nice and tall. Keep that kettlebell in front of you and keep constant tension on those glutes. Weight should be through the heels. Four sets of 10 here also. Take about 45 seconds to a minute in between each set. Next exercise is a goblet lunge. Now with this, we are not going to be walking with a kettlebell. You'll take a step forward and then really focus on pushing your body back with that forward leg. This is going to hit those glutes and hamstrings, also gonna help you work on some, some stability. 
Keep that kettlebell close to your clavicle and against your chest, elbows under the kettlebell. Four sets of eight to 10 reps each leg, and you'll take about a minute in between each one. As you get tired, really focus on using that front leg to push your body back to the starting position. This is what makes this exercise so effective for targeting the glutes. And then you're going to lower yourself until your upper leg reaches about parallel till just before your knee touches the ground. So you don't want to continually touch your knee to the ground. It's not good for your knees and it won't keep constant tension on your legs. So this will help give you a little bit of cardio in this workout too. Gets the heart rate going and make sure you're stepping evenly with your right and your left side. So if you're stepping out two shoulder lengths, make sure you're stepping out two shoulder lengths on the other side too. And keep the upper body nice and tall. And the next exercise, this is a frog pump. So you'll push your feet together, knees are going to be out, place the kettlebell on your hips and use it as resistance. So here, this is just a matter of repping it out. You'll do three sets of 25 reps here. And try not to rest at the bottom and just lock out at the top long enough to activate those glutes. Keep your chin tucked, keep your core nice and tight and this one burns, so be ready for it, but it is great for really targeting the glutes. Hitting those abductors, so again, working on round glutes from top to bottom, and make sure you keep your knees out, and keep your heels close to your glutes. If you let your heels go out too far, you're gonna hit more hamstrings than glutes. If you don't have access to a kettlebell, no worries. You can just use a dumbbell. It works for every single one of these exercises that we went through. Remember to really pay attention to each rep. Pay attention to your weight distribution, angles, and also using that kettlebell as a lever to help grow those glutes. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that little bell. You'll be the first to know whenever a new video comes out. If you try these exercises and you love them, please tag me on social media. I really enjoy seeing your progress and enjoy seeing you take these exercises and make them your own. That's really what it's all about. If there's something in particular that you'd like to see, please leave a comment below and we'll make it happen. Thanks for watching. Until next time, train hard and train smart, y'all.